Ah, Agent Bonnet. Hear about that knife business again? It's getting a bit old now, don't you think? Why didn't you say anything about the expedition? They were tragic events. Best forgotten. We'll start remembering because my serial killer is tied into them somehow. Really? What an idea. Yes, I also think that you hindered the investigation by withholding important information. Well now, I can see you're here on business. I'm always here on business. Don't you know the victims are all on a list? Well, it's possible, I suppose. It's possible? But you and Branford could be on that list. Aren't you afraid? What good would fear do? Understand, I settled up with my conscience long ago. When? When Fairbanks was killed? Or only after Tatum was? You think it's so easy? And you, little girl, hiding behind an FBI badge? Do you think about all the people slaughtered somewhere in the cold and dark without your knowing? Yes, and I hate it. I wake up mornings thinking that today someone else will die, and I can't stop it. Now it's even worse. I know who's gonna die. Not all of them will. Yeah? Juan Alvarado, an archaeologist living in Cusco. He didn't join us until Peru. Juan Alvarado? You keep in touch with him? Not really. Were there other people involved in the expedition? Yes, Waquero. Go on. Waquero was a local grave robber, an amateur. He appeared when we were totally devastated and on the retreat, offering his help. And? And then he demanded an outrageous payment, and we parted ways with great ill will. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an important call to make. It's good we met. Are you waiting for Warren? We're going out. Although I'd prefer to go with you to the concert. Hmm. Well, maybe when I finish this case. I can hardly wait. I found out a little more about the Peruvian expedition 20 years ago. Do you, uh, keep in touch with Mr. Alvarado? No, not for a very long time, but we used to be friends. Why is he of interest to you? The murders are all occurring within a specific group of people, and Alvarado's part of it. Yes. Yes, he is. Do you think he could be the murderer? Well, I don't have any proof to that end. Do you think, then, that it's a Koga Pachiros Indian curse? No. Neither do I, but if our murderer was on this expedition, and if it's neither Warren nor myself, then it must be Alvarado? Why should I suspect a man who lives in Peru of murdering people in New York? Alvarado was in town at the same time, of course. What? In New York City? Are you sure? He called me. I was frightened he was trying to track me down. Do you know where he is now? He left a message that he was returning home, back to Peru. I hope it's true. We'll look into it. Do you have his address? Well, he sent me a letter postmarked in Manhattan. Had a photo of his house in Cusco in it with the address and a note. I showed it to Warren this morning. Could I see it, please? Well, here's the thing. There was a bit of a mess in the museum this morning. They were cleaning the showpieces that hang from the ceiling, and I had to literally push my way through between them. It must have been squeezed out of my pocket then. Right. I'll find it. Ruth? Nicole? Yes? I need you to check South American flights out of the country in the last five days. Looking for a Juan Alvarado, archaeology professor, flying to Cusco, Peru. Okay, I'll get right on it. Thanks, Ruth.
Mr. Branford's waiting for you outside. Thank you. I'll be leaving now. You're staying here? This pavilion is such a magical place. You sound just like Alan. But I'm glad. It's a good thing. Creating something like that must require so much talent. And 20 years of hard work. And one day, Hakero arrived and wanted to destroy all this. This again, eh? No, in the beginning he even seemed friendly. And then, he wanted to destroy your reputation and you couldn't get rid of him. So he blackmailed you? What makes you think that? I found traces of a drug stash down there. Such a dirtbag. He defiled everything with his dirty little hands. So he came here to demand his blackmail money? You know, during the expedition we found a couple of shells of insignificant value and some old Spanish coins. Back then we were young and stupid. We invited tragedy. When the rain started and we realized we wouldn't be able to find the professor, we just wanted to get home as fast as we could. And Waquero said that because of the diggings, we would have to negotiate with corrupt pen pushers for weeks. He helped you smuggle items out? Yes. Oh, they were objects of little significance, and I soon forgot about them. Did he also smuggle drugs inside exhibition pieces? No, never. He pushed me to, but I never allowed it. Did he pressure the others, too? I thought... I thought that he murdered them to get at me. Why didn't you inform the authorities? What are you talking about? I spoke to your man Chaser about the whole thing. Chaser, yes, of course. Did you find the legendary city in the end? Akakor? Well, we thought so, back then. But we couldn't go back again. It's, it all seems like a dream now. Last thing, are you sure you don't want protection? Thank you, no. This place is swarming with police. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an important call to make. Here, an antique house in Cusco, hence the dedication. Here. Nicole? Yeah, hi Ruth. Alvarado left the country already, hopped a flight to Peru. Uh-huh, that's great, thanks. Listen, is the chief there? Not at the moment. You know what? Book me two tickets on the next plane to Cusco, Peru. Visas for me and Nick, and a hotel. Be cheaper if you share a room. Leave me alone. Does Nick know about all this? Not yet. I'll call him now. Okay. Thanks, Ruth. Please leave a message after the beep. Nick. We're going to Peru with this serial killer thing. Call me or Ruth back ASAP. Don't let me down on this. Okay, everything's arranged. Thanks. Has Nick called in yet? No. Is the chief back? Yes, he's in. Shall we? I've got a major update on the investigation. I'm all ears. I've established a few facts. All the victims were part of an academic expedition to the Amazon over 20 years ago. Professor Dickinson, his daughter, and another student named Noel Riche all tragically died during the expedition. Our friend Hakiero helped evacuate the survivors. He also helped them smuggle some minor artifacts out. 
Of the entire expedition, the only currently living survivors are Warren, Branford, and Alvarado, who is now an archaeology professor living in Cusco, Peru. All are potential victims, and all are potential killers. Why? Well, I don't have any real strong evidence yet, but all my leads come back to the expedition. So something happened down there that 20 years later is causing our wannabe quartermains to rip each other's guts out. Looks that way. I just don't know what the something is. So I'm going to fly down to Cusco and talk with this Alvarado character. I can't authorize that. They won't let me. It's about four countries outside our jurisdiction. Look, if he's not the murderer, he might open up to me. I've got a picture with a dedication he made for Branford. Can I see it? Well, well. So, maybe I'll find out what their little rumble in the jungle was. But if Alvarado is the doer... Then he had to have been up here for the last few weeks. And so he was. Shit, this is getting more and more iffy. Hmm. Well, we can ask the Peruvian police to do the interrogation. Uh, I've got the feeling I'll have to go and do it in person. Forget about feelings. We're dealing in facts. Did you do the psychological portrait? Yeah, I'm working on it. Our killer has a thing for middle-aged, physically fit males. He's of a similar class and income as his victims, except for Tatum. Not sure why he got hit. So, let's say he isn't an acquaintance. Then he's most likely in a position of public trust something he can use to get close to his targets. Policemen or priest, the usual candidates. Even someone like yourself, Chief, or our pal Branford. As for motivation, I reject the ritual aspect. It's a cool gag, but ultimately just handy window dressing. However, the antique gold coins left with the bodies? That's a clear attempt at communication. Or the whole thing could just be Warren stripping down to a loincloth and slaughtering his old buddies. Warren in a loincloth? Nah. Er, yeah. Anyway, speaking of Warren, I wasn't aware he'd asked you for help, Chief. Well, Nick was dealing with this case, he should have told you. Hmm. Warren admitted to me that they'd smuggled out some minor artifacts. Did he say anything like that to you? No, he was very careful with his words. And anyway, it was only a brief chat on the phone. Maybe the stuff they smuggled out wasn't so minor. So they found some really big treasure down there, someone got stiffed at the share-out, and this is a 20-year late reminder? 20 years is a good amount of time for a prison sentence. So he did 20 because... he was framed. Well, that's a revenge motive. But what was he framed for? We won't know until I go down there. You're not going anywhere yet, Bonnet. Such a trip has to be well-planned. There's no time for that. We hang around with this, and who knows how bad this is gonna get. You won't save anyone like this. Listen to me. Listen. You can laugh, but I see a jungle city in my dreams. And at the top of these massive stone steps is a sacrificial altar. And the murderer's there, and he's gonna turn around any second. And when he does, pow! Oh, for crying out loud, she's giving me dreams now. Go home. Sleep. I'm giving you one day off. Make the most of it. Chief! Don't chief me, just get out of here! Jesus Christ! Bonnets, I'm too busy right now. Unless you've got a breakthrough in the investigation... Um, n All right. So? You flying? Uh... You know what, Nicole? Dollars to donuts, Nick will be late for his flight. Can't we just medicate him and wake him when he's needed? Send him the address of some dusky cafe in Cusco. Maybe he'll drop by for a coffee. Huh. Look, just make sure he gets everything he needs for the investigation. Don't worry. I'll staple the notes to his head if I have to. You working late again? Yeah. I think I'll end up mummified here and put on display for future generations of secretaries. I promise I'll dust you. See you soon, anyway. Yeah. Hey, don't forget the postcard! I won't. See you, Ruthie. I made a real ass of myself.
What the hell am I doing? Chief will can me if I take off down there. Be the shortest career in FBI history. Let it go. A man can only die once. Get packing anyway. Your destination awaits. Damn, but it's good to get away from the city and the crime and all the everyday crap. It feels so fresh down here. I'll take a camera and act like a tourist. Might even fool someone. <laughs> <laughs> 